The Welsh computer whiz kid who tapped into US defence plans tells us how he did it. Good evening. A computer hacker who caused a huge security scare in the United States has spoken for the first time about how he did it. Matthew Bevan from Cardiff was acquitted on Friday of tampering with top-secret American Air Force computers. But in his first television interview with Wales Tonight, he's accused the American military of terrifying incompetence. An ordinary 23-year-old, but Matthew Bevan now lives at a secret location. He and Londoner Richard Price were dubbed the greatest threat to world peace since Adolf Hitler. Despite its technological prowess, they embarrassed the US Air Force by getting access to its most sensitive secrets. Under his codename Kuji and on his ordinary PC, Matthew Bevan would contact a legitimate internet provider in America. From there, he'd capture the password of someone at an academic institution with military links. It wasn't a case of attack a military system direct from Seattle provider cyberspace. Um, it would route the call. You'd route the um, the call through, you know, several computers just to try and disguise the trail. Um, obviously, to make it harder for anybody who was trying to track any intrusions, just to make it very difficult for them to do that. His next move would get him access to military research establishments. At one top secret base, it was done with chilling ease. The system administrator who had control over the entire system, had no password. Um, therefore, allowing straight access and full control over the computer system and um, quite easily control over the entire computer network at that Air Force base. I mean, that, I would say that is complete incompetence. I mean, even if it's a very unsecure password, a password is better than no password at all. The Americans dispute how serious the security breach was, but one file Matthew broke into may have been their air war control system. The whole incident led to a special Senate hearing. On Friday, Matthew was acquitted of tampering with files, charges he'd always denied. But if he got in, who else could have done? It's just lucky for them that it was only uh, two kids who got into their machine in, on this particular occasion, and not uh, you know, the IRA or um, some dictatorship in uh, some Middle Eastern country.